Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a cook and clean with me. Today I will be making some bread. It is keto friendly and also gluten free bread. As most of you guys know, I am on the keto diet lifestyle, so I cannot have your regular traditional bread anymore as long as I'm on this diet. I can't. So I decided to look up on Pinterest a recipe for some keto friendly bread that just so happens to be gluten free as well. So that is what I'm going to be baking today. I'm gonna to show you all of the ingredients that you're going to need for this recipe. I'll also link down below the recipe just in case any of you guys are interested in this recipe and you wanna make it for yourself and your family, then I will link that link down below to Pinterest, the exact recipe that I will be following. Now I've never made homemade bread before, so this is my first time. So I'm crossing my fingers that this comes out really well because I love bread and I really miss like my avocado toast and my toast with almond butter and just sandwiches with bread. So I'm really hoping that this recipe turns out good so I can have some bread in my life because Lord knows I miss my bread. So I'm also going to be cleaning up after so I thought I would make it a cook and clean with me. Also, I'm sorry if you hear it in the background, Peppa Pig cartoons. Um, I did turn on Peppa Pig for my daughter even though she's not even over there but I did turn on Peppa Pig to try to distract her so she won't be in the kitchen bothering me. But if you hear it in the background, then I am sorry. But I will probably play music while I'm cooking and cleaning. But for this whole intro, then I'm sorry if you hear that in the background. But that's just mom life. So I'm going to get started making this bread. I have the recipe pulled up on my laptop right now. So I have to preheat my oven to 375. So that's what I'm going to do now. So my oven is currently preheating to 375. So now I will start combining all of the ingredients that I need to for this recipe.
done. I don't know if you guys can see that yummy steam coming from it. It just got out of the oven. I have not tasted it yet. But I thought I would show you guys how it looks straight out the oven. Okay guys, so the bread is done. I haven't finished cutting it completely, but I am going to do a taste test. It smells really good, so I'm really hoping it tastes good. But this is how the bread looks. Like I said, it's halfway cut. I haven't... No, no, Maddie. No, no. Okay, my daughter's trying to play with the knife. Um, it is halfway cut. I haven't finished cutting it. That's how it looks right now. So I'm going to do a taste test. Fingers crossed it tastes good because it smells amazing. So I'm going to eat the little butt part and see how it tastes. I think I should have added a little more stevia to it, but for gluten-free keto bread, I think it tastes pretty good. Like I said, next time I make it, I'm going to add a little more stevia, just so it can be a little more sweeter. It's not very sweet at all, so next time I'll just add a few more drops of the stevia, but it tastes really good. I'm actually going to have a slice with some almond butter. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of almond butter to it and see how it tastes with the almond butter. I'm gonna get another slice that's nice and warm. And see how that tastes because I really love bread with almond butter. So, as you can see, the almond butter is starting to melt, but... Mm -hmm. So my final thoughts to this bread is a thumbs up. I think it tastes pretty good for gluten-free and keto. You're not going to get better than this. Homemade, fresh, nice and warm. You know what you're putting into your food. This tastes really good. Madison liked it. She took a bite of it. And obviously it's not going to taste like regular bread, but to me it tastes pretty good. Like I said, next time I'll just add some more stevia drops to the bread, but it tastes really good. So. If you guys are gluten-free or on a keto diet, then I will link down the recipe down below for you guys to try it out. And also comment down below and let me know if you guys would like me to start adding more Cook With Me videos here on my channel. And I will definitely do that for you guys. And as always, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, I would love if you would consider subscribing to my channel and joining me and my YouTube family. Also, turn on that notification bell so anytime I upload a video, then you are notified that I have uploaded. And if you enjoyed today's video, then give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Brian, do you like the bread that mommy made? Mm -hmm. Yeah? I have never peed a bit. Look, um, it's the best bread ever. Cut every day.